What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to be sharing with you over a decade and a half video editing wisdom that you should know about. Whether you're a complete video editing beginner or simply you want to polish your video editing skills, this video is for you. I'm going to start with the most important aspect of video editing and that is the editing mindset. Are you conflicted between these two things? The story and the software that you're using. You know, everybody today is a video editor. Virtually everybody can do that. You can, for as long as you have a mobile phone and you have platforms like TikTok, which allows you to put, you know, just switch on the phone, go to the camera and then start recording. Automatically, you can use like CapCut and then edit and then post, but that doesn't make you the best video editor. It just makes you a video editor. It doesn't make you a storyteller. So you need to understand that video editing is not only about the software. It's not about the mastery of the software, like importing, editing, and exporting. That is not all. Of course, that is the, the flow chart, like that is the flow of work that you need to be doing, but it doesn't mean that once you know how to import and cut and then export, then you are a good video editor. You also need to master the storytelling. You need to know who you are telling the stories for. And that takes us to the next point, which is who are your target audience? I've done videos before about target audience in this channel. You can be able to click on the playlist on uh, content creation and you can, you can be able to review that uh, video target audience. So you need to know, are you making this video for like, for example, is it a gamers trailer that you're making? Is it a cool family video that is inspiring the warmth and the connection and the love in that family? I mean, you just need to understand who are you making these videos for. So your audience is very, very, very important. Not only the software. So you have the software, you have the story, and you have your audience. These three aspects need to be strongly understood so that you can be able to also master your video editing skills. Also, know that less is more. Do not feel your editing, do not feel your edits with too much transition, too much color, too much, you know, make it simple. People cannot really, you know, understand the story that you're telling if you fill them with a lot of complexities in terms of, you know, too much audio, too much, you know, everything. So less is very important. Remove unnecessary, uh, unnecessary edits that you, that is making that video not to communicate what you actually wanted to communicate also focus on making that particular video clear, concise, and engaging to your audience. If it is not going to meet these three principles, clear, concise, and engaging, then it's going to be boring to your audience. Also, you should learn to do something called showing, not telling. You should show people more. Show them what's happening. Don't tell them, you know. Like, the, the, the good aspect of telling is when, for example, you're doing a documentary and you're saying that uh, you're there, you're doing a P2C, a PTC, <laughs> you're there and you're doing a PTC, and then you're explaining, you know, these people are devastated, these people are corrupt, these people are, you, you know, all those manner of things, but you're not actually showing. So as a video editor, you should be able to combine that PTC with the B-rolls that actually streamline themselves, align themselves with what this, can, the, this reporter is saying. So you should be able to understand how to connect this, this, these two things. Hmm, let me see whether I've missed anything else. Oh yeah, let's go to the pro tips. The pro tips are here. You should always understand a clear story structure. A strong beginning, middle, and ending will make your audience invested in that particular content that you're doing. Maybe it's a five minutes video. If it's starting, you know, a clear story structure of, you know, this is the beginning of the story. This is how the climax is going in the middle. And then this is how the story ends. So we can get the resolution of the story. That is also a technical aspect that a video editor needs to also master. There is also strong pacing. Do not start so high and then, you know, keeping shots to be very long, you know, just Always, any shot that is on the screen should have a reason being there. You should not prolong it, should not have, you know, long scenes of... The, if the person, for example, this is a scene where somebody is coming from 
work, they are coming home. Now you want to show us how they are opening the door, how they are closing the door, how they are going to the escalator, how they are going, is it escalator or elevator, whatever it is, how they are going to open their doors to their house, how they are now going to call their house helps, how they are going, don't overshow those kind of shots. Just, it is, this person is coming from office, they are going home. Even don't show us whether they're using the car or road, nor unless it matters to your audience, nor unless it matters to that particular story. So avoid those unnecessary, unnecessary shots that are going to make that story to be long. So the pace of the story has to be fast according to the storyline. Also, the other thing is that visual consistency. Visual consistency is an aspect of branding. Ensure that your colors are correct, your typography is correct, your mood that you're putting in that particular thing. The fonts that you're using are aligning themselves. Don't use a sans serif, if you know, like for example, Montserrat, and then you're going to now change to Railway, and then you're going to Bebas, and then consistency of the fonts, especially if you're doing like, uh, you know, the, the, the captions. If you're doing the captions, if for example, the caption has a black background that is a little bit transparent, don't change it to be like the next scene, now it is yellow, now it is green. Now, you know, we're not doing like color patterns here. So consistency of that visual is very, very important. And then another thing that you also need to put in mind is that these two things, avoid over editing. Do not be carried away by fancy editing. You know, if you're always on YouTube watching these tutorials, somebody did this, the other person did this, and then you want to combine all those effects that you learned from everybody into that one video, you're going to overwhelm your audience. So consistency in terms of that, avoid over editing and also bad audio. You should also concentrate on looking at how you can clean your audio. Depending on the, the, the environment that you're shooting from, depending on the ambience that you're trying to put, depending on the mood that you're trying to, also put your audience in. You can be recording in a studio, but when the sound is coming out, is you know, the sound feels like it was recorded in a forest because you wanted to put that kind of mood. So you did good sound treatment of that and you added those, those audio effects, those sound effects beneath the audio, and then you, you actually did something, some sound engineering when you're editing. So that is an, a skill that you also have to master. When you talk about mastering, always remember that. Practice makes, is it perfect really? But perfection comes with over practicing. There's somebody who said practice makes something else, but I'll not go to that. But practice is essential. The more you keep doing whatever you're doing in, in line of uh, the software that you're using, you're going to learn new things. And every year, for example, Adobe is giving out different review, different uh, updates, different, you know, better updates to make your work easier. Final Cut is doing the same. DaVinci Resolve is all doing the same. So you should always learn new techniques of, you know, making your work easier. Before, I'll give you a very good example. Before, when we wanted to, like, on Adobe uh, Premiere, when you wanted to prolong, uh, you know, you are, you have a music, music like music music bed on that video that you're editing and you wanted to cut it to a certain maybe you are editing a one minute video and the music that you're having is five minutes so you had to cut 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 you know into pieces and then you start doing that reverb and then uh, looping that audio and then build. but now there is an effect that is that that is there's a tool that is there that is going to end automatically you know ai sensei is doing a very amazing job you just do this do that thing you just trim it inside and then automatically it synchronizes that audio to the particular duration that you wanted and it cuts it there automatically so always learn new new things practice makes perfect and also improve your 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 editing skills if you've enjoyed and learned something new from the tips that i provide in this video consider subscribing to this channel also you can comment in the comments below about the video editing challenge that you've been able to face so that you can also look into it in future videos.